Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another Neopets Dailies with Toast. Uh, I hope you are having a wonderful week and I hope that you are somewhere very comfortable and cozied up um, just like me right now. I'm surrounded by blankets. I've got my comfy pillows next to me and my dog and I have a nice warm cup of tea that I'm going to be enjoying while we go ahead and go through our dailies. So before I get started with the actual dailies, I do want to touch on the whole NCUC thing that happened. I'm not going to talk in depth at all about like the NCUCs or the drama or anything like that. I mostly just want to talk about how it's impacted me and um, my account, basically. So I didn't have any what they called UCs at the time, an unconverted pet. So I wasn't affected by the mass uh, change, but I was excited to get a bunch of the um, styling tokens that change your pets into what they're now calling nostalgic. So I did kind of want to do a little run through because if you've been watching any of my videos, um, you're definitely going to notice a big change um, on this account. I didn't get rid of any of my pets that I had on this account, but I did trade some between my sides and I brought some over from my sides. Um, so that's kind of what I want to go over. So ELT, he's our golden boy. He is chilling. Nothing changed with him in the slightest. Um, I do want to say that I bought all three of the, um, the Drake tokens. And I went ahead and I slapped the fairy nostalgic token on Tinkerbell, which I think is adorable. I... And being quite honest, I'm still not sure if I plan on keeping Tinkerbell or if I'm going to trade her for something else down the line. But for now, here she is looking cute as heck. Um, I still need to get her a pet pet, but that's uh, to be determined once I figure out what I'm even going to be doing with her. Uh, so yeah. Um, other new changes. We have Rock Kiss here which I brought over from my side. Um, if you might recognize this custom, I basically just traded Crocus for um, Starry New, which was my candy drake. Uh, I put her over on my side and I brought Crocus over from my side and I basically just slapped uh, the Croc nostalgic token, fairy token, on her and gave her all of the stuff that um, Starry New was wearing because I thought that it was a cute, you know, custom. And she's kind of like a romantic croc. Like, they don't have Valentine croc color. Um, so I would probably paint her this. She is a fairy croc, like legit fairy croc um, behind this skin, <laughs> I guess you would call it. Um, but yeah, I, I would not be opposed to like eventually painting her Valentine if they ever release a Valentine color for Crocs. Um, so yeah, I did also get all three um, Croc token colors. I got the Derrigan Fairy and Gray. Um, I don't have a Gray Croc yet um, or a name for it, but I definitely didn't not want to have it because I just like how the gray croc looks. And um, I gave her a little croc pet pet that I named Kiss because her name is Croc Kiss and Kiss the Croc, right? Um, I don't know. Don't ask. <laughs> uh, essentially, I want to paint the pet pet fairy. So that's something that I want to do down the line. Um, Vanishing is another pet that I brought over for one of my, nice, one of my sides, um, and I took advantage and I got a couple of the uh, Kogra nostalgic tokens because I didn't have any Kogras on this account, but I did have two Kogras on my side. I had a Vanishing that I got from a trade um, earlier in the month or maybe in December. I don't know. It was pretty recent, basically. 
Uh, and I also have a gray Kogra. Um, so I got both of those tokens. Um, I haven't put the gray token on my gray Kogra yet because I haven't decided if I want to keep them on that side. Um, I'm still shuffling a lot of my pets around right now and I need to get more pet slots because I am pretty much out of space and I need the room to move them around. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so this is a vanishing, um, and let's see, I did not get the NC token for a Dooley because I actually really like her custom. Um, I might get the fairy Shoiru token at some point, um, just because I do like them, but for now I'm chill with her just being... Uh, converted, which uh, rare for me to like consider. I just like her custom that much. <laughs> um, this cutie pie, her name is Diddy, and I was inspired to make a couple um Ixies not that long ago. Um, I think she's only like sixty days at the most. Um, so I made two Ixies. I made a boy and a girl. And I ended up sending her over um, to my account so that I could get all of the ICSI tokens. And I just went ahead and slapped the um, fairy token on her, even though she's actually a blue ICSI. So yeah, but I just, I think she's adorable. I am happy to have her um, here. I think my pets are really starting to get kind of a cohesive look. Nothing new with Creamia. She's just like Eelty. They're just chilling. They're the same. Um, Vulgar also went <laughs> through a bit of a transformation. Um, he is still a pirate croc, even though I want to paint him Derrigan. Um, the only reason I have not bought the Derrigan paintbrush yet is because I actually kind of want to paint him a few other colors first just so I can get the croc paintbrush colors. Um, and then I want to keep him Derrigan. So that's my main reason for waiting. And then I really want to get him a Derrigan Slorg, but it is proving very difficult to get a hold of a Derrigan Pet Pet paintbrush or a Derrigan Slorg as it is. So hopefully I can get that done soon. I can replace his measly quadrupus that I got for, um, I put the quadrupus on him originally so that I can get the avatar, but then I had realized that a vanishing had a quadrupus that was aged enough to qualify for that avatar. So now I want to definitely change the one on Vulgar, and I'm probably going to start zapping this quadrupus because I... I don't know. I like the age on it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for like real updates. Um, I did get more tokens, like I said, than I updated my pets, but, um, yeah, I did move quite a few over. Now, the day that the NCUCs dropped, the site was lagging like mad. Um, and I don't know what it was, but I just had like hella luck that day that I don't usually have because when I had done my um, fruit machine for the day, I ended up with a Lost Desert paintbrush. So I was like really shocked um, to get that. I'm like, okay, that's dope. Um, he also got stat increases, ELT, and got 40k. I'm like, all right, this is legit. Like, that's what's up. Um, and then, um, continuing to do my dailies, I got a freaking fairy fountain quest. I had to, like, triple, double, quadruple check that it said fountain fairy because I was like, no, this water fairy's tricking me again. I noticed her. She's tricking me. No, but it legit was the fountain fairy. And so I have a fountain fairy dip and I am going to be dipping one of my, one of my pets today. Um, I've actually been waiting 
because the pound was down and now that it's back up, I was like, well, I'm pretty close to doing my dailies. Um, so I think it would just be best if I waited and did him while I was recording. So yeah, I, um, have had a pet specifically in mind. Um, I got this guy, my, uh, currently plushy Buzz. His name is Soft Phil, which I'm like, that's the perfect name for a plushie, right? Soft Phil. Yes. I like my plushies like on the softer side instead of on the firmer side. So I'm like, that's perfect for me. I'm going to put, I'm going to turn him into one of my dreamies. Um, so we're going to do that, uh, at the end today. <laughs> so make sure you stay tuned. Um, so for now, I'm going to go ahead and actually get my dailies on the way. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with Trudy's. Today, I think, is our 100K day, which is really exciting. So let's get it. I wonder if she's going to give us a gift as well. Or I don't know. Nope, just 100K. But you know what? I am more than happy to take that. So thank you, Trudy's. That is exciting. All right. Now I'm going to go check out our daily dailies. And so we have... Purchase any item from a Neopian shop, spin the wheel of misfortune, play a game, feed a pet, and groom a pet. So we're going to start right off the bat and go to the Healing Springs, where we can pick up the potion that I'm probably never going to use, and heal my pet. And we got that done and out of the way. Let's go ahead and hit up the toy shop. Oh, that's cute. Um, Fairy Cobra bookmark. That's cute, too. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and get the Fairy Cobra bookmark. And go ahead and buy that. Perfect. And we'll refresh here so we can make sure we got that. Perfect. Then we're going to go spin the Wheel of Misfortune. So... I've kind of just gotten in the habit of opening up Jelly Neo, scrolling all the way down, and hitting up Excitement, Knowledge, Mediocrity, and Misfortune, and just going one by one and spinning them all, because why not? If you're going to do the wheels, you might as well do the wheels, right? So we got 2500 from the Fairy Excitement Wheel, Wheel of Knowledge. Oh, everyone is not as lucky as you. Good luck on taking such good care of your new pit. All right, cool. The Wheel of Mediocrity. Awesome. We got 500 NP. Misfortune. I'm like, does Misfortune even give out anything decent? Oh, no. Okay, no items. Good. All right, now we're going to go ahead and refresh. Check that out. Awesome, then we're going to go play a game. Go move that over here. What do we got going on today? Itchy Invasion and Extreme Herder. Um, Fashion Fever. <laughs> Because I definitely know that I spent a little bit too long talking at the beginning. And I have, uh, obviously something I think is exciting planned for later. So we're just going to phone it in with a classic fashion fever. Awesome. Check that. And feed a pet and groom a pet. All right. So I'm going to go ahead I have any food in my inventory. I do not. And there we go. Now we have a cupcake and Eelison's comb. So let's go ahead and feed the cupcake to Eelty. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and 
Um, Rockus. Awesome. And that should be enough. Perfect. So, go ahead and claim all of our rewards. So, claim. Claim. The lame. Claim. And claim. Awesome. And now we're going to grab our 20k for the day. Get that bag. All right. And our weekly this week, our fantastic weekly prize is a cute little blobkins. All right. So it's still not a fairy cadote and not a croc pet pet, which I still need like a hundred million of them. Um, but hey, you know what? We got a blobkins and I am happy about it because blobkins is cute as heck and I will gladly take one for myself. Thank you. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and run through our regular dailies. And fire. We got a croc pirate ship. Okay. Apple bobbing, bank interest. Colt Zan. All right, um, oh, I accidentally double clicked on him. It's not quite sure what we got, but we'll grab our interest for the day. And we're gonna go ahead and nothing happened from Cold Zan, that's okay. We'll check out the Forgotten Shore. And nothing. We'll spin the fun fruit machine. Let's see if we get anything cool today. Nope, nothing. All right, that's fine. Can't win them every day. And we got poisonous jelly. Thanks for nothing. Um, I'll grab some omelet. Alrighty. And go ahead and get these up. 50 cents from the rich slorg. And nothing from the scarab, Kazlan, Xpilabux. And alright, so quite a bit going on here. Let's see if we can find any like in common. So we got two, two. Okay, so we know that. These have to be like that. And if that's the case, that shape can only go here, which means that this has to go here. So we have these three, that one. So we know that this has to be purple, which means that this one has to be yellow, right? Which means that's red, which means that's red. And let's see. So it looks like this one has to be purple and this one has to be yellow. And then between the purple one and the red one, it's also gonna be yellow. And between the yellow one and the red one, it's gonna be purple, which means that this one's red. Did we do it right? Hey, all right, we got this. Okay. Oh, I think I skipped the Grumpy King. Okay, let's go ahead and talk with the Blue Brendo of Prosperity. He gave us a toy. Let's see if Tombola's got anything for us today. Tiki Taki Tombola, come on. Oh, we got a native mask. We're going to go ahead and 
not impress the king. Can we make him chuckle? Not at all. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's do some scratch cards. You know, speaking of scratch cards, I keep forgetting to do my premium scratch cards. And that was junk. Okay, let's go ahead and do those now. Because I will probably forget for forever. So we got four of those. That means I haven't done these in a month. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got Neo points. Ordered 4,820 Neo points. Okay. Thank you. Got three more. Neo points. Okay, we got 4,000 Neo points. All right. What is that? What does that mean, Nan? Oh my gosh. Who knows? Oh, she gave us a hairbrush. And we got one more card. And more Neo points. Okay, 4,000. All right. Not bad at all. Okay. Let's go and check out Buried Treasure, Fairy Caverns, Lever of Doom, check my portfolio and the strength. Oh my gosh, we're opening all the tabs today. And do we get anything? I still need the avatar for this one. I don't know if I'll ever get it. I don't know if this will ever load either. In the meantime, let's go ahead and enter the fairy caverns. And we'll go right. Okay. And then we'll go left. Maybe. Maybe. It seems like Neopets is really slow today. Pull the lever <laughs> while those other two think about loading. All right, nothing. So my portfolio, this one here, is at 15. How do I only have 500? That seems lame. Try not to buy any less than 1,000 shares of anything so it makes it easier for me oh my god what that what um oh we got a zoma are those worth anything they're cute as hell um it's random oh that's a good sign um, let's check the trading post. I know I could probably check Jelly Neo, but let's find out. Tentacle. Two mil. Okay, that's not bad at all. I'm probably going to keep him because he's cute. My five. Okay, nice. Well, that's the first time that I've gotten something that wasn't freaking... What was it? Useless? Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, and these two decided to... F oh. Looks like Fairy Caverns failed. I'm curious if it just failed me out. Oh, no, it just failed to load. All right, cool. So we can keep on going. All right, nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm still, I'm still shocked that we got the... Uh... I'm still shocked that we got the... Uh test your strength oh my gosh okay this actually reminded me um coconut shy i freaking knocked down a coconut which was the first time that's ever happened to me ever and i won ten thousand neo points and like a flaming coconut or something that i sold like immediately for one point something million neo points like that was crazy um yeah i i mean i've 
heard people can knock them down, but like I've never knocked one down, so that was insane. That was also on my streak of luck the other day when Neopets was uh, just came back online. I don't know what that was about, but I'm here for it. So, let's see. Okay, I don't have another cookie active at the moment. I will do that after we dip our pet soft fill in the pool. So, um, okay, so yeah, we're, we, I was, I was zapping this pet, which I don't remember what it was before. It was Ash for a while, but now he's just like cookie cooketh or something. And I'm like, all right, we'll just keep him that. And then I was like, I'm gonna just zap the um, pet pet for Benjenny so that I can send him out eventually, hopefully trade Benjenny for something cool. Send him out with a cool pet pet, hopefully get that zapped something cool. It did. It got zapped into a croc plushy pet pet, so I'm not going to zap him anymore. Um, I did decide that I was going to zap this pet which is connected to my uh my Darigan Cogra because he gave me the avatar and I don't want to disconnect him but I also don't want this pet connected to my Cogra so if he gets zapped into dust well that happened and if not well hopefully he'll get turned into something cool so let's go ahead and zap derpasaurus and nothing happened all right all that talk for nothing so let's go ahead and zap ben jenny and he loses three movement points okay we got one more zap with ben jenny today See, come on, give us a cool color. I've just got a lot of really cool colors. Like, give me something nice. And he changes gender. Okay. Still nothing for Ben Jenny. We'll go ahead and take care of Battle Dome. I'm going to clear out my inventory. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fight Jetson Ace today. On medium. I haven't been doing too bad. I did get a few Nurk mids from him um, this week. Not enough for me to do another gamble, um, but definitely nice to have anyway. Always excited when we see those. Hey, Nurk mid! Always excited when we see those. So, yeah. Gonna beat up Jets and Mace today. We get excited, blow off some excitement and some steam uh, before we do my dip that I'm just so excited for. I like I've gone back and forth for a while because if I mean, there's probably somebody out there thinking, "Wait a minute! I thought your dream pet was a Moroccan Galert," and you would be right. I did enter the Dream Pet giveaway that Neopets was doing um, for a Moroccan Galert. And not the pet that we're going to dip today. Because um, they were going to turn a pet into whatever it was that you wanted. And I did not have Soft Fill at the time. Um, I got Soft Fill in a trade sometime after that dream pet giveaway thing. And so I put up uh, Janiel, who I want to be a Moroccan alert. Um, so I, I have been thinking about what if I just dip her instead, because I really do want her to be Moroccan. Um, but I... I don't know. I feel like I feel like this is just slightly above that on Dreamy's tier list for me. So I want to get him out of the way and then um and then I will probably do Benjenny if I get I'm sorry. 
not been Jenny, Janiel. Um, and then I will probably do Janiel Moroccan if I get another uh fountain fairy dip, which hopefully, hopefully this isn't the only one I get. Took me what, like ten cookies? I didn't even I lost count after a while. It took me a lot of cookies to get my dip finally. And I'm happy about it. Not that it took so long. I'm just happy that I finally got it. Come on, Jetsum. Can we get at least one more Nerk mid? Come on. Holding out on me, bud. Maybe a red code stone? I know I saw a tan one in there. Let's see. Come on. Let's get it. All right, nothing. So we'll go ahead and check our inventory. This is me after I cleared it out. Everything else is currently being traded. So starting here, we got a Ultra Nerk Mid, Red Neocola Token, a Tai Kai, and a bunch of junk, Green Neocola Token. Okay, cool. So we're going to go ahead and put that in Safety Deposit Box. And we're going to go ahead and turn, this is what I had before. I'm going to go ahead and turn soft fill into uh, my one of my dreamies. Okay, so we're going to make him active for no reason in particular, just because we're focusing on him. So, yeah, he was a cute plushy buzz until today um yeah so thank you to his previous owner for trading with me i don't even remember who i traded <laughs> uh for him but i am happy to have him uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get out a special item because he's no longer gonna be a buzz and I got out my Pirate Drake Morphing Potion, which I bought before they all inflated. I really wish I'd have bought more. Um, and we're going to go ahead and use on Soft Fill. Use on Soft Fill. I always get so paranoid at this screen. Soft Fill begins to grow, turn gray. Soft Fill begins to grow, turn gray scales. That's not, that's not... English. Okay, as they start. Oh, wait. Softfield begins to grow. Yeah, turn great. That's messing me up. Oh my gosh. As they start to transform into a pirate drake. All right. So he is a drake now. And we're going to go to fairyland. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't done a fountain fairy dip. Um, I think since ELT. And I created ELT to dip him and ELT is like nine years old oh my god choose a new color for soft fill oh my god oh my god we are gonna turn him plushy here we go Wow, soft fill looks really good now. Oh my god, he's still wearing the pirate stuff. <laughs> I'm so happy this has finally happened. Oh my gosh. Thank you, beautiful fountain fairy, for blessing me with this dip today. Oh my goodness. Let's uh let's do a little customization on him. I'm definitely gonna get him an NC token or a nostalgic token when that comes out for plushy. Um, because yeah, I gotta probably have like four of those now. Let's see. The three, okay. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, but look at him. He's so cute. Oh, those little, oh, his cuteness. Oh my gosh. Okay, but I can't wait until he turns when until I can get that nostalgic token for him because he's gonna look so much cuter. But that's that's fine. I will take him happily as he is now. Um, I, oh, and the name is just so perfect for him. 
Oh, I'm so happy. Let's see. Can we find him something cute to, like, somewhere cute to hang out? Uh, how about the grassy meadow? Oh, look at that. Kind of blinding. I usually like the darker. <laughs> I usually like the darker sets. Um, yeah. I definitely need more backgrounds and more like uh, wearables. I just need more wearables, period. Let's try a different background because I, th the other one is cute, but it's just blinding. Oh my gosh. This, I like this background, but it's way too festive. Oh my god, I'm struggling. I'm sorry, guys. I really need more stuff. How about fireworks to go with the background that we have going on here? How about that? Okay. I think I'm okay with this for now. Let's uh give him a foreground, maybe. Maybe. Uh, I, I don't think this is going to look good, but let me try it. Yeah, I don't like that. What about this? I hate it. Okay, we're going to take this off. Uh, oh my gosh, why am I struggling so hard? It's because I don't like customizing pets. <laughs> I don't hate it, but it's not, it doesn't come easy to me. Um... Anything? What about... No, I hate that. Not for him, anyway. Um, no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Get rid of that. I just want something to cover up this muddy-looking crap. Um... Just not feeling it. Oh, my goodness. I both love and hate this background. You know what I mean? Like this one, I love the colors in it, but I hate that it's just a background. Like, I have to layer it with that. Um, Donuts? No, I hate this. Oh my gosh. No, this is worse. I hate everything in my closet. No, I hate this too. Ugh, why is it such an eyesore with the green? This is like my favorite background that I have. I put it on everybody, I swear. We'll keep him there for now. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find anything else I want uh at the moment. At the moment. I have to it's something I have to play around with for a while and find him the right custom because it's not gonna be easy and it's not gonna be quick. Just looking through all my stuff again. I there needs to be like folders or like tabs that you can sort through your closet easier because I hate scrolling up and down looking for one specific item and then I can't find it hardly ever. But yeah, um, I am so excited. Let's uh, open another cookie real quick and see what kind of a fairy quest we get. Okay. We're going to go ahead and open the cookie. And one quest for nine days. Okay. Let's chill. Let's go ahead and open up Shop Wizard. And we'll go open another, accept another quest. And see. If we can't get another Fountain Fairy, come on, let's go. We got pets to paint, come on. Oh my gosh. She's lagging, isn't she? Um In the meantime, I do want to also go down to the styling studio. Oh, wait, no, that's not where I want to go. 
I wanted to go to the uh styling chamber and look at the different um styling tokens that I got. Let me see if did it take? Oh my god, no. Let's try it again. There we go. Ugh, Earth Fairy. Whatever. Go ahead and take that. $22.99. Let's see if we can find one cheaper. $20.80. Okay. Anything cheaper? And twenty eighty is fine. We'll go ahead and swap out to ELT so that he can get his stat boost. And then we'll open the fairy quest again. And give her the item. And ELT speed has increased. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I think that's all for the dailies. And okay, so for all the pets that I have here, I've not moved any of the tokens that I've gotten to my sides um, because I just don't know where I want to keep certain pets. Uh, but so here on Soft Fill, if I was to give him the Nostalgic Gray pet, this is what he would look like, which is so freaking cute. I 100,000% will be using this on a pet. I just have to find the right name. Um, And then I also have the Nostalgic Derrick and Drake. I don't know who, when, where, or what I'm going to do with this. Um, But I just knew that I wanted to have all three on reserves. So I did not get one for Aisha. Um, we did show that. So she is currently wearing this one. If we were to remove it, this is what she would look like. And we're going to undo. And then we have, uh, let's see. Oh, we got Croc, Crocus. So she's wearing this one now. If she was to remove it, this is what she would look like. And I'm like, ugh, I hate it. Um, so definitely undo that. Look at how much prettier that is. Um, and if I wanted to, I could make her gray, which I love. Uh, I love the gray croc. I just don't know when or who or when or where or why. So she's gonna stay like this because we love it. Um nothing for Aisha that I got. Nothing for Galert. Uh oh, yes, because I, I did only get these two. Because these are the two I currently have. I might get the fairy one at some point, but so this is what he looks like now. This is what he looked like before, which I don't hate. Okay, I don't hate it, but this looks cooler. And then this is what he would look like if he was gray. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. So I had to get that as well. So we're going to keep him like this. Um, I didn't get anything for Tiri. Uh, did not get anything for Shoiru, though I might get the fairy Shoi. And... My Ixie. Oh, I did. I guess I only got Fairy Ixie. I guess I only got Fairy Ixie because it's what I wanted for Diddy. And then I I do want to get the other two for my other Ixie. I just don't know which one, but I'm going to get both of them. So I want to have all three for Ixie. And yeah, nothing for Jub Jub. So... Oh, this is what she looks like without it. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely different. Um, I, I'm thinking I'm either going to paint her 
um, either fairy to match the nostalgic custom, or I might paint her pastel, which is one of the things I was thinking about doing when I originally created her, was to make her, like, this really cute, um, ixie. So, I, I, I personally like that you can take them off, because I, I, okay, like, I like the idea of customizing, I just am not great at it, and I think it's in part because I just don't have a lot of stuff in my closet, so, um, this is me trying really hard, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, I, I'm also kind of like torn. Okay, I love Ryu Sage. Um, he's more than likely going to be a permi. I got him in a trade a while back, and um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with him, but I like him. I put this custom on him, and I was like, okay, he's giving me vibes, um, and I like that. Uh, and then I wasn't expecting any trophies. Because I thought that all of the trophies that they were giving out were going to be specifically for old UCs. But it turns out that it's just they were giving trophies to anyone um, who had a pet over the age that they converted all the pets in 2007. And so I got a notice that I got a trophy and I was like, who the heck is old enough for one of those? And sure as heck, it was actually Ryu Sage. So this is currently my lookup. I still need to do a custom look up because I just want want it. I want it. Um and this is everybody on my page right now. I still have to unlock two more slots. Um but I feel like everybody's kinda like you know kinda getting cohesive. Like everybody's on my page for the most part is like purple or green or like black, some orange, you know, I feel like, I feel like it's, it's, it's starting to vibe, you know, still need some work. I'm probably going to continue changing a lot of my pets around, um, until I like have my main, what I consider to be perfect. I wish you could like sort the pets on your page, like reorder them. I think that would be a nice feature. Uh, but yeah, let's check out or you sage. So yeah, if your pet was older than the original conversion, you got this cute little Kachik trophy. So I thought that that was really nice. I like that it has the little uh background uh situation because you know all of the pets back in the old day had this like circle background. Um. So I, I just, I think that that's nice. Um, I wasn't expecting it, but I'm happy to have it. I think that this is cool. It's a little question mark that tells you what they're wearing. So I've always wanted this because I am really bad at customizing. And I think that this might help me get better at customizing. Like I can go to somebody's page and be like, oh, I really like what they're doing. And then look at what they're wearing. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like now I have kind of an idea of what I might want to, you know, work with. The only thing that I have a complaint on, and I feel like this is, you know, uh, valid is that certain things that your pets are wearing don't show up even though they show up like in the static photos. Um, so this is what my custom actually looks like on Rio Sage. He has this like foreground that I paid real money for and it doesn't show up here. And I know it's something to do with like their HTML, I don't know what, uh, specifically, but I know that there's like an issue. And the thing that I like is that they made the pictures on their lookups animated, which I'm like, yes, that is something that I've been wanting for a while. Cause why have an animated thing when you can't even see it? Okay. 
this is what it looks like static, okay? But it takes away whatever is not is currently quote unquote broken with this with the thing. Like Budsby, okay? Budsby, I feel it's like an iconic thing for him to have his little hat. Like I feel like his hat makes him Budsby, okay? Um, aside from the fact that he's, you know, a cute little bud. Uh but because that's the hat's broken, this is what he looks like on his page. And I'm just like, no. It's, it's jarring to me. I'm like, why is he so broken? But I'm hoping that they fix that in the near future. Um, but yeah, and it, it still shows like, oh, he's wearing this hat, even though it's not showing the hat. So I don't know. That's just a little gripe that I have, but otherwise I am happy with like the updates that they've been, uh, you know, doing, um, I'm, I'm living for the new nostalgic tokens. I think that that's great. I encourage you to buy as many as you can afford right now, um, because they are on sale. I get paid tomorrow, so I will be buying like three more sets, um, and then I should be getting paid again before they go off sale. So I'll probably be buying more because, yeah, I know that I'm going to need some in the future. Because if you buy them now, when they cycle out, you can choose different colors later. So you don't have to get all the colors now. You can get colors later. But buy them now so that they're cheap. Because I don't want to spend $14 on one color. And that's like the deluxe. So I'm not doing that. Um, the prices as they are now, I'm okay with. So, yeah, um, thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun. I definitely had fun. I was not expecting to be turning, um, Soft Phil into a plushy drake for a while. He's just kind of been chilling on one of my sides, and I was like, yes, I have to do that. So, hopefully plushies come out soon for the NCUCs because I would love to make him an OG plushie drake. So once again, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye!